Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 atmospheric tank operation and also includes a small mod to, to assist the viewing of the coolant level within the tank without too much trouble. This is video 18 in my series of videos on the XK8 and in this video I'm going to describe how the atmospheric tank operates and also detail the small modification to assist with the viewing of the coolant level as suggested by Gary van der Moortel. Okay, first of all, what is the tank? The tank is actually part of the uh, cooling system and it stores excess coolant uh, temporarily uh, on behalf of the cooling system and it also will vent any massively excess coolant to the outside. So it's quite important um, that you check the level of coolant in this atmospheric tank. However, it's hidden behind the inner wheel arch liner, the right hand side wheel arch, as shown here on the diagram. And this is it with the wheel arch liner removed. This is the tank. You can see the coolant level here. And actually this pipe here should be full of, full of coolant as well, which I'll explain later. Okay. So the atmospheric tank operation. So when it's cold, the cooling system basically, um, you have the, your expansion tank, there's a cap with a valve on the tank, um, which actually uh, operates to vent excess coolant out to this atmospheric tank in your wheel arch. And that in itself will then vent any excess outside. So when it's cold, the valves, valves shut and the I believe vacuum holds this coolant in here together with the pressure of any fluid in the tank itself. So this, uh, the cap to your expansion tank is not just a little plastic bung. It actually has got some sort of thermostatic or pressurized valve in it in the top. And you can see when you lift it up under, underneath. It's a bit of a clever bit of kit really. Uh, but misunderstood possibly. Okay, so when the... Uh, the system's hot and pressurized. The valve opens and lets any excess coolant through into the uh, atmospheric tank and the tank level rises. All good. Obviously, if you've got really excess coolant, it'll come out the top. When it's actually cooling down, then the valve stays open and then the, the, the excess coolant will actually then be drawn back into the system again, which is all good. So basically, this tank will basically come up and down during cooling and heating of the engine. However, if the tank is empty, it doesn't have any coolant in it, it will draw uh, the air back into the system. So if you've got low or an empty tank, it's not a good idea at all. So it's good to be able to inspect the tank and diagnose any problems because we all know how susceptible cars are to running without coolant and the amount of damage that can be done. Okay, so as I spoke earlier, my tank wasn't, uh, when I, I'd actually done my cam chains and tensioners, which is another uh, raft of videos, but I've actually dropped all the coolant out and I've refilled it. And in doing so, I've emptied this bit of the expansion tank, the, filler, the first filler pipe. So the important thing is this section should always be full. As I say, otherwise you're gonna draw air back in. So I actually topped up the, uh, the tank to halfway it needs to be at least halfway or a quarter full at all times when it's cold to allow that to be drawn back into the system as i described in the operation so this little uh, idea of gary's was to uh, put a little access hole in the uh, wheel arch liner so i picked myself a bung it's about 32 millimeter diameter got a wood drill and a ruler and set about putting a bung in. So I moved the right hand side front wheel to access the liner. I measured up a position, bit of a guesswork here. I should have actually took the liner out and done it all properly, but um, such is life, lesson learnt. 250 millimeter from the bottom of the fender here, about 100 millimeter off the edge, marked it in white paint. I set about drilling a hole with my wood piece. I carefully drilled it through. Actually, just behind here is part of the expansion uh, tank, sorry, the um, atmospheric tank. So you do not want to drill a hole here. 
Otherwise, you're going to drill straight through your tank, and then that'll be another job. I got a good view of the tank from there, but I wasn't quite happy with it. So uh, I got some alternative rubber grommets or bungs, and I decided to put a larger one in. Um, uh, elongated the, uh, enlarged the hole with um, Stanley knife, and then I fitted a new bung. You can see the coolant here. I then took a car for, uh, uh, sorry, there it's all fitted. It's a reasonable job. Um, so basically, I would advise instead of actually um, my bung was somewhere over here. It's probably more advisable to put the bung here on reflection, very as close to this edge as you can get it without damaging the uh, the, the wing. Uh, yeah, this is a much better position, I think. Okay, so then I took the car out for drive. Obviously, the the coolant must have expanded, drawn all the air out, and then come back. So I've made a mark now where the coolant level is when it's cold. And hopefully I'll be able to inspect that from time to time, just make sure everything is operating correctly. Okay, that's my video. Um, thank you. Hope you find it useful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.